Hello everyone, it's your favorite trucker, Bruce AG, back out here with another video for you. So I know yesterday I was supposed to put uh, what came in that envelope um, with the uh, decals and stuff yesterday, but by the time I put the decals on, put the numbers on, um, you know, light went out, sun went down. So here's the video of what I have, what I was going to post for you to see what came in the envelope for those who want to come to Landstar. Check it out. Hello everyone, back again with another video. Finally came out the truck, stopped from getting something to eat and picked up my envelope with my permits in it from Landstar. And I'm about to show you what's in the bag or in the envelope. So, you want to know what all that noise is, that rig master right here in that truck. See that right there? That's what making all that noise. That rig master APU. Hopefully you can hear me. All right, let's see what's in the bag. So, <clears throat> I got my decals. One for each box. Uh, there's my IFTA stuff. I believe this is my truck number. Uh, I believe this is my trailer number. I think I gotta bring this to orientation. They said something I had to bring with me in orientation. So, this one of them. They, get, they use calm data over here to get two cars, one for fuel, one for your payroll. I don't know why they ask for checking the account for, but <clears throat> this is their permit book. And this is the big stickers for you to put on your door, I guess. But well, that's what's inside there. I'm gonna go ahead and put these on. And uh, finally get back with you. All right, so now I'm gonna go over the specs in my truck and my trailer. I'm gonna go ahead and start here at the front with the engine. So I'm gonna step way back so you can see it. So, got the DD15. 560 horsepower. Got the heavy hauler on. Uh, radiator um, got the 20,000 pound front uh, front steer axle with the four and a quarter tires um, they got the Landstar decals working on so you got to put some up here on the hood of the truck which is the truck number um, dual steering gear boxes right there that's the that's it right there I need to wash the engine but I get it Got the 18 speed transmission, 20,000 20, pound pusher axle, <clears throat> uh, 46,000 pound rear end, those back two. Then also have uh, two speed rear ends. This is my trailer. Appreciate your glow for making this trailer for me. Um, so it's a hydraulic neck. 102, 102 wide trailer width. It's 53 foot long. I got the quick connects right here, hopefully, which I shouldn't. Hopefully I don't pull these apart and forget to, un take them out, uh, forget to take them out. That'll be a doozy. I mean, it's neat that they did it like this where you can just pull it out. You can just put it back in, but. It's gonna be hard to find parts for it. Probably shouldn't have to order that. Got the pony motor right there. Right here. Got your switches. Got the box to cover it, the pony motor. Kind of open in the back right here, but I'm gonna do something about that later on down the road. Kind of don't want water flat, uh, splashing all in it. Also, 
got the frame support right here this thing right here drops down on on my ramps uh, let's see got my lock got my <clears throat> trays right here this one you can lock it <clears throat> now this trailer has a self it, it could self-contain itself if you got a wet kit on your tractor or if you got a pony motor you can use so you just flick this up hit it to the off and then you won't need a pony motor you can run it from your truck you got a PTO I, obviously I don't so I just put that on Got another tray back here. Now, what I wish it did came with was D-rings in the middle. I have no D-rings in the middle. But that's soon going to change. Got the boom trout. <clears throat> I got swing out outriggers. They're about, I measure them, they're about 13 inches wide. <clears throat> Them rings all down the side. It got me a lift. This axle right here in the back right here. It lifts. Let's put it down. Got the night light package. Where I can hit the button. Turn that button on. It has its own battery. Which I'm about to show you in a minute. I'll turn the lights on. That way you won't have to kill, use your batteries on your truck to do it. It does itself. Got aluminum tanks. I got strobe, they got a strobe light switch, but of course when you get something new, you can't never have nothing. So somebody took my, my lights when I was at the truck stop, but they didn't take those, which is a good thing. But I had strobes in here and they just took them, they took them off. I still got the harness that connects to it. But I guess that's part of it. This is the battery right here. They're, runs those um the night light package i'm gonna just press this to test the battery and then say fully charged let's see if i get it to work there you go. <clears throat> and it and it charges through the seven way um of course that's my trailer number that's decal i had to put on i wish they had a quick connect uh flag mounts on it but they i got these which is okay I end up putting them, putting it on there. I don't have no uh, license plate because the one I had, the temporary I had on here expired. Uh, Landstar had gave me another temp. So I'm just waiting for those plates to come in. So I'm riding on third day for the truck and the trailer. <clears throat> I got, uh, I want to say these 30,000 30, pound airbags I got back here. Uh, let me see back there. That's the view of the airbag. Right there. That's the airbag. Got D ring. Right on the side in the back. Again, this axle right here lifts up. This this last axle right here lifts up. <clears throat> it goes down. Let me see what else. Uh, the fenders is covered. Covered the tires. I mean, I used to work at another company ATS where this is exposed here here and there over the top of the tires but this trailer I don't have that problem I, well I wouldn't say it was a problem but you know this is good this is good right here um, got ramps I got 120 gallon tanks on the driver's side. Got 90 gallon tanks on the right with uh, 90 percent capacity. So I could say I could put about about 190 in there. I think I got up to like 187 one time, but that's pushing it, like pushing it good. I don't know why they didn't give me another decal or num set of numbers to put on this side, but I asked them in orientation tomorrow about that. I got those cat eyes there. I see two of them need to be 
have a little bit more air in it. They're 125 PSI, so them, them the ones I order for my tires back here. Um, of course, got the big headache right. Got my big old light bar. But got that big box right there on the back that I used to use for wind. Oh, this is this. This is if you have a PTO, you can hook your lines up here. And that way you can run your own fluid. Normally where this normally where this big box is is normally like most people I might have a tank like that, but a little bit more smaller, or they have like a square box back here that they fill up with hydraulic fluid and they run a hose to this uh, from the PTO and they have fluid. <clears throat> so I think that's about about it with this truck um, that I could think of. But yeah, that's what I was busy doing yesterday. Uh, trying to get those decals on, like the if the sticker. Had to try to get this two, 215,000 gross vehicle weight off here. I wanted to put this down, but then I ain't want this over top of it. So I just put it up there. Um, but yeah, that is my rig. Once again, thank you Globe for uh, building this trailer for me. Thank you Viscarna out of uh, Fremont, Nebraska. They the ones who got this straight set up for me so they can build it. Um, thank you Dakota for financing this uh, this for me. I had to put, it, it cost 75,000 uh, with the FET tax, which is the federal S SS tax, I think is what it is. It's uh that's an additional nine thousand down uh nine thousand dollars. So it was eighty four thousand dollar trailer. Uh, had to put thirty three six down for it, and then um uh and just had to wait for them to completely build it. I think it got done with it probably about two weeks ago. Told me to come down here and get it. So I told him I was gonna get it as soon as I get everything straight with Landstar. So Landstar had got got me straight i just sent in the paperwork form for this trailer because that was the last thing i was waiting on i'm surprised i jumped on this now because i seen another three oxy trailer and the price is above what i paid for this uh, i think it got something to do with the the covid the work is not working i don't know it's the steel but uh me and a friend of mine was on the phone this morning and he had me look up a trailer for him and uh, they was asking $110,000 for a two axle trailer, uh, expandable. So that's what we dealing with now. So, um, what else can I say? So I start orientation tomorrow. I'm here at the hotel, uh, at the place where I put a stand, which is Smart Stay In. Um, this is where they had got a, a got a couple of days uh, room for me, so I go to orientation tomorrow. I got be there. Uh, I'm gonna be there at seven o'clock in the morning. That's when the gate open. I'm gonna see if they gonna let me leave my trailer there, so I won't be toting that around. I could just bobtail back and forth. Um, gonna be uh, so orientation seven to five, Monday Tuesday, and. Uh, I give y'all update of what I find out there orientation, what I find out in class. Um, I let folks know what what they expect. Um, I know tomorrow will be full of paperwork. Normally, the first day is always signing papers. Make sure you got this. Make sure you got that. The fun stuff don't happen until you get done with that first. So um, until then, I post another video tomorrow I'll write down as much information I can and share with you what happened through orientation um, there's a couple of people that I already I already talked to that want to know about it so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a orientation day one video orientation day two video day two is probably gonna be the one, definitely will be the one with the low board stuff on there so I'll, I should have like a passcode or whatever to do the low board so We'll go ahead and see how that is. So y'all be safe and I'll catch y'all later. Y'all take care.